yes yes thank you very much hello sir uh, thank you so much for uh, asking me to be a part of this yes and, yes and uh, my colleague uh, uh, my contemporary mr sumit has explained so well and ha, ha, ha. Uh, so there's very little for me to add to uh, what he's already explained but ha, ha, ha. Uh, I, i've been asked to speak a little bit on paper 3 so uh -huh. i will just share just, a few things just just hold on for few minutes yes. uh, let me yes, uh, uh, let me introduce you uh, in proper way first uh, monica benjamin uh, she got a 79 marks in paper first practice and procedure of supreme court she got 62 marks in paper second drafting she got 74 marks in paper third professional ethics and she got got 64 marks in paper 4 leading cases so uh, now uh, you can explain how you study what is your background and even though some points are repeated suppose sumit ji ne jo cover kiye hai uska kuch repetition bhi hota hai na no issue barabar hai to koi repetition bhi ho gaya to chalega lekin aap karo aur tisra jo paper hai professional ethics ka उसके बारे yes, में आप एक्सप्लोर करके थोड़ा बता दो यस यस शो में हिंदी भी बात किया तो भी चलेगा क्योंकि बिकॉज हिंदी बेल्ट लॉयर डिस्ट्रिक्ट कोर्ट लॉयर ना समटाइम्स दे आर वेरी कंफर्टेबल टू लिसन इन हिंदी इंग्लिश कंबाइंड लैंग्वेज आल्सो राइट अंडरस्टैंड एंड व्हिच लैंग्वेज यू आर कंफर्टेबल यू कैन स्पीक नो इशू थैंक यू आई आई विल डू माय बेस्ट सर यस uh so just for starters i just uh, i'm not familiar if whether uh, the persons who are seeking to attempt uh, the exam have uh, been able to obtain the study material so uh, the physical study material is actually available from the supreme court uh, premises and uh, if you go to any of the photocopy shops within the supreme court premises they will always guide you where to get the material from where you can purchase the photocopy of material to study for the four papers so that is one place to start other than that the supreme court website the new website uh, has a special tab of advocates under which there's another tab of aor examination there you will find all the previous lectures videos as well as study material and previous year question papers so aapko uh, physical study material supreme court ki premises se mil jayengi agar aap kisi bhi photocopier ke paas jaiyega aap wo aapko bata denge and they will provide you a a copy of that you'll have to pay whatever little uh, they require uh, for supplying that study material for the all the four papers and mane jo bhi thoda bahut wo wo quote karte wo bas aapko pay karna padega par wo physical study material aapko wahan se mil jayegi aur soft copy study material ki previous year question paper lecture video jitne bhi hain wo sare aapko supreme court ki website se mil jayengi jo nayi website hai उस पे एक एडवोकेट्स का टैब है जिसके अंडर एक और ए और एग्जामिनेशन का टैब है जहां पे आपको ये सारी इंफॉर्मेशन डिटेल्स वीडियोस प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन पेपर स्टडी मटेरियल नोट्स बहुत सारी चीजें हैं रिसोर्सेज हैं जो आपको मिल सकती है वहां से तो मैं हाईली रेकमेंड करती हूँ कि आप ये दो चीजें एक्सप्लोर करें एटलीस्ट वेबसाइट को एक्सप्लोर करें और वहां से जितना भी मटीरियल है आप डाउनलोड कर लीजिए ताकि एटलीस्ट आप वहां से स्टार्ट कर सकें other than that i feel ke uh, for the four papers i think uh, the drafting paper i have heard it is very lately been quite difficult to clear but uh, often times actually the because usme it's to do deal with drafting so uh, students kya hota hai like those advocates who want to give that a paper hum uh, kind of uh, uh, become a bit relaxed because there's not much to study it's more to do with drafting but i would seriously say that uh, for in order to approach the drafting paper i think you should uh, look at the leading cases because a lot of the examples in the drafting paper are picked from leading cases so make sure that you go through uh, the leading cases at least study some of the major important leading cases so that you will be able to uh, identify uh, similar uh, factual situations in the drafting questions because they often pick up uh, or formulate the drafting questions from the leading cases so that is one way to uh, give uh, a little bit of guidance other than that i highly may recommend karti hu ki previous 5 years ke question papers at least aap logo ko study karne chahiye to usse aapko pattern samajh aa jayega aur kya important questions hai jo repeat hote hain har saal 
वो आप आइडेंटिफाई कर सकते हो और उस पर आप फोकस कर सकते हो तो एटलीस्ट यू नो दैट यू कैन एटलीस्ट पास इन क्लियर द पेपर विथ ईज so you must study at least minimum at least previous five year question papers to ensure which uh, to identify which are the important questions you need to cover other than that uh, please uh, i mean uh, make sure you at least uh, go through the barax the supreme court uh, rules as well as the advocates act for paper 3 uh, very important to for you to go through the those barax and uh, there is also the supreme court uh, practice and procedure ha the handbook which is also available on the supreme court website please download that and please study that very well that would be very very helpful if you look at the previous year questions you will see you will be able to get your answers from the handbook so make sure you have the handbook download the handbook and study it thoroughly bookmark it and make your notes accordingly and try and solve the previous five year question papers so that you know ki you have you know the answers of the most common questions at least and at least you will be able to answer those when you sit for the paper other than that i would highly recommend ki uh, supreme court of india the the board of examine uh, examination they also conduct their own lectures so i would also recommend that aap uh, supreme court ke jo board of examiner hain wo ek lecture series conduct karte hain which i was always told to uh, attend those lectures because they give you the most important questions for that particular year so it's very important for you to attend those lectures and uh, yes other than that i would highly say ki uh, mr sumit uh, all those uh, points which he had shared would be very uh, helpful if you are able to follow those as for paper 3 i can say is that uh, for paper 3 please be very thorough with the advocates act it's a very very small barrack so there should not be much difficulty other than that there are a lot of cases uh, with respect to the different uh, questions which are asked like what is uh, advocacy and uh, in what like the cases uh, cases on strike um, and uh, contempt cases those are very important questions and they come every year so please make sure you study those cases for those particular topics so that you are able to attempt those questions for this i again tell you to please look at the previous five year questions and identify the major recurring questions which are coming and accordingly prepare those questions and one thing you also need to make, keep in mind is ki even though aap five five saal ke questions dekhte hain tab bhi uh, it happens that sometimes the question paper pattern changes and i have seen that happen it it happens sometimes in drafting it happens sometimes in advocacy and professional ethics so please be very mindful of that and don't uh, at least prepare in a way so that you are not uh, completely uh, scared from looking at the new question paper pattern essentially the questions would be the same is just that prob probably the scoring would be different and maybe there will be a lot more compulsory questions or uh, a lot less objective type a lot less subjective so in case of advocacy and professional ethics i personally feel it is a very good scoring paper and at least for the past 2 3 years they've been giving at least past 2 years they have 20 marks of objective questions where you just choose the right answer so or you give very short answers like so those 20 marks or uh, which compulsory 20 marks are very easy to score but it's important that you are able to at least prepare those questions in advance so please i would highly again uh, recommend that you go through at least last 5 years questions and especially the last 2 year questions question papers so uh, first 20 marks are compulsory so please attempt and also it's very very important that you finish your paper even if uh, you are not able to write much it's very important that you try and attempt all questions sare questions attempt kariye koi question mat mat chhodiyega because chhodne se aap wo even a few points you lose that if you don't attempt that question so it's important that you attempt all questions you may maybe have to compromise on how much you are writing for a particular answer but please make sure you attempt all questions and uh, yes i think uh, that is roughly what i can uh, advise uh, all the candidates who are seeking to attempt this examination this time and i wish everyone the very best very nice very nice uh, just i want to add one thing in this in professional ethics examinations if you are well aware about the case laws yes on professional ethics jitne bhi yes. case laws ke upar aapka command hai aur wo case laws agar aap uh, advocate pro, uh, professional ethics ke paper mein kafi jagah pe agar 
इस शॉर्ट पैरा में भी अगर वो केस लॉस डालते हैं तो इट विल बूस्ट टू गिव दी गुड मार्क्स टू दी एग्जामिनेट यस आई एग्री सो यस और yes. uh, मेरा एक, uh, इसका एक बुक भी पब्लिश है प्रोफेशनल एथिक्स का एमेजोन uh, के ऊपर yes. लेकिन उसमें मैंने खाली yes. केस लॉस दिए हैं और जनरली okay. हाँ जनरली लोगों को ये पेपर का स्टडी करना बोदरेशन बो नहीं लगता है क्योंकि ये एडवोकेट yes. छोटा है वो हम आराम से कर लेते हैं दूसरा है बीसीआई रूल्स है बार काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया के जो रूल्स है ना अवर ड्यूटीज टूवर्ड दी क्लाइंट ड्यूटीज टूवर्ड दी सोसाइटी ड्यूटी टूवर्ड दी कोर्ट वगैरह इसके तहत ये प्रिपरेशन करने के बाद सेवन इथिक्स ऑफ दी लॉयर वगैरह ये सब करने के बाद यस लेकिन ये सफिशियंट नहीं है वो यू आर गिविंग दी ए आर एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट भारत के एफेक्स कोर्ट में काम करने वाला है तो हमारा एग्जामिनर बोर्ड जो रहता है ना उनका ये देख वो उनका ये मानना रहता है कि इसको अगर मैं ए आर करूंगा तो ये वैल्यू एडिशन क्या करेगा सुप्रीम कोर्ट में yes, तो वैल्यू एडिशन yes, करने जैसी थिंकिंग है प्रोसेस है आपकी कोई केस लॉज वगैरह बताना ये करना वो करना अगर ऐसा प्रॉपरली करेंगे ना तो जरूर ये सब्जेक्ट जो है ये प्रोफेशनल एथिक्स का ये बिल्कुल डिफिकल्ट नहीं है और ये प्रोफेशनल इथिक्स का सब्जेक्ट है उसमें कुछ जो मॉनिटरी जो रिकॉर्ड रखना है जो प्रोसीजर है ऐसा मॉनिटरी रिकॉर्ड रखना का एओआर के लिए वो सब आपको अगर प्रॉपर मालूम है प्रैक्टिकली तो बहुत अच्छा ये पेपर आपको जाएगा और मुझे यकीन है कि ये पेपर स्कोरिंग भी सब्जेक्ट है जैसा yes, ड्राफ्टिंग yes. ड्राफ्टिंग पेपर स्कोरिंग भी है और डरावना भी है बराबर है yes. वैसा प्रोफेशनल इथिक्स yes. स्कोरिंग ही स्कोरिंग है ये डरावना नहीं है yes. इसमें फेल होने का चांसेस बहुत कम है लेकिन yes. अगर आप इसके जो केस लॉज है मैं लीडिंग केस की बात नहीं कर रहा हूँ लीडिंग केस 64 केस की बात नहीं कर रहा हूँ मैं प्रोफेशनल yes. इथिक्स की केस लॉज अलग है ah, उतने yes. केस लॉज का अगर प्रॉपर प्रिपरेशन कर लेते हैं कि जो हमारे बुक्स में है तो बस yes, आपका कमांड जो है ये कमांड बहुत अच्छा रहेगा और बहुत बढ़िया ढंग से ये करेंगे और मुझे बहुत खुशी लग yes. होती है मोनिका की आप इतने अच्छे मार्क सब सब्जेक्ट में लिए हैं तो कितने आ, कितने महीना स्टडी किया आपने ये ए का सर एक्चुअली इन इन ट्रूथ दिस वाज द माय लास्ट द लास्ट टाइम आई अपियर्ड आई वाज फॉलोइंग इन द रेगुलेशन सो आई गिव वन पेपर व्हिच वाज प्रैक्टिस एंड प्रोसीजर एंड इन ऑर्डर आई हैड टू गिव जस्ट दैट वन पेपर इन ऑर्डर टू क्लियर एंड उससे पहले आई हैड गिवन टू अटेम्प्ट्स सो द थर्ड टाइम व्हेन आई हैड टू गिव द सिंगल पेपर वाज माय थर्ड अटेम्प्ट so it was not easy because i am also it's uh, i was uh, last two attempts i was giving the exam in december which was very close to uh, working days so i tried whatever i could to prepare and uh, mm. i mean i uh, yes i i know a lot of people especially like mr sumit who was able to clear on their first attempt and uh, it requires preparation it is not a, there is no shortcut to it so but even if i would still say tell my uh, fellow advocates that if you are unable to clear on the first attempt don't lose heart i would just say just prepare again and uh, make another uh, you know next best attempt that you can and uh, uh, it is difficult to manage uh, studying with work but it is doable i mean i would just recommend that you try and work uh, study at least on weekends for a couple of weeks at least much beforehand so that you can catch up on studying your material and possibly when we wait for court matter sometimes we study cases during that time also when while waiting for a matter in court so i think it's about just managing time but it is definitely a doable uh, uh, attempt and uh, uh, everybody can do it it's just a matter of putting in effort so that's my only say on this very nice very nice hmm? you nicely explain everything Uh, and uh, mm-hmm. in next next week uh, we will meet in the supreme court uh, our canteen and we we'll have lunch right, together uh, all all our right, five sir. hours today uh, okay yes sir definitely okay. thank you sir thank you thank you thank you thank you monica